Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to crochet this lovely rug that I have started. <laughs> I just wanted to share it as soon as possible, but it took me time and um, I had so much, so many of this yarn that I have hoarded. Uh, it's a Burnett, uh, Burnett Handicraft Crafter. 100% cotton and each yarn. They had a special going on. They used to have the e-tent in Canada. Now they don't, unfortunately. It's 113 gram and four ounces for each ball, so it's pretty good. I I wanted to start. I actually I did start a cardigan for myself, but it's a four weight. So I, I my must have bought three bags for me to crochet myself a cardigan a knit actually I started to knit but it was too thick yeah it's a uh, four weight I believe it should say it somewhere here yeah these yarns are usually four weight it's 100% cotton it's like a dishcloth a dish dishy uh, yarn that you use well, it didn't work for me, so I thought to myself, what can I make out of this love? It, it is lovely, but it's pretty thick and durable. Like, it's, uh, it just, yeah. I need, uh, anyways, I bought, bought a thinner yarn. Yeah, I think this is, yeah, here it is. Here it is, four weight, yeah. It says, uh, medium weight. Okay, so what I did is I started this lovely, I had to crochet something durable. You know, when you go to the store and then you see these, I'm going to post those pictures that I took at Walmart. That's gave me the, imp imp uh, the, the idea how to crochet. See, when you hold it, it looks like this. It's, it's layered. Just love it. This is the back, back, and this is the front. And when you hold it like this, it looks like those store-bought rugs. So I wanted to create something and use up all of this yarn that I have. So I chained a long, it's pretty long, so it's, it can't even fit into my camera. I'm going to use up all the yarn that I have, all the grays that I have, and I checked, there's no gray in, in the stores. <laughs> They're all sold out. Uh, well, I bought this like 2014, I believe. Yeah, it's pretty, and I'm trying to use all the stash that I have. Anyways, I am going to show you how to crochet this lovely, lovely, lovely rug, and it's really fun, but it's time consuming. So. I just uh, knotted my, <clears throat> I'm just finishing my third ball, just to give you an idea, and it depends on how wide you want it, right? Mine is pretty wide, it's like a rug. Let me measure it. Yeah, it's 41 inches, right on, 41, so it's pretty wide for a regular rug. I'm planning to put this in my son's bedroom. <laughs> so. And the gray color matches everything. You can use this gray color with anything you want. White, green, yellow, anything that you want to make it with. So let's get started. Before we start, I'm going to show you where I get the idea and try to, to create the stitch. I'm sure people are crocheting this stitch. I haven't seen it, but I got so excited how it turned out. And I went on and finished my first ball. And then went on second and third I said okay I'm gonna start the tutorial and show my lovely subscribers how this is done so let's get started before we do I'm going to show you the pictures that I took okay so here I went to Walmart I was doing my regular grocery shopping usually my husband goes but this time I had to go anyways I saw these lovely rugs. I said, oh my goodness, I have the same yarn. So what I did is I took a, I looked at it and this gave me the idea, ding. <laughs> so I said to myself, okay, I am going to crochet. 
I'm going to figure out how to crochet this. It turn well, this isn't cotton, just to let you know. This is like velvet something, so it is not cotton at all. So mine is 100% cotton. It will absorb the yarn, and it's natural. It, it will absorb the water, and it's all natural, right? <laughs> Here it is. It's, isn't it the same? Ta-da! <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so I'm just grabbing my cotton yarns that I have here. Okay, and uh, while I'm going to start this, I'm going to make myself one. You know, when you just get out of the shower, when you're taking a bath, or your feet are always wet, even you try to dry them, and it gets slippery. So I'm, I just chained as long as I wanted. And I'm going, well, this one's going to be, I'm just going to use my uh, leftover cotton yarn that I have. So I'm not going to go out and buy just because I'm just trying to get my <laughs> yarn stash down as soon as possible. Okay, the, the crochet hook I'm using is the 3.5. Okay, so I did my chain, just a regular chain, uh, just chain as long as you want, wide as you want, pardon, wide. And the long goes with the, so what I'm going to do is, I found out when you, um, when you go from the back here, like there's little pearls that you see, if you do the single crochets in those, I noticed it, it stretches so this is another trick that I found out I think I did show this on my other tutorials like you just do a single crochet you go to the back like this is the chain right so you kind of twist it and then you pull it up that pearly see you can see those so that's where I'm doing my single crochet and I noticed it's not tight when you finish it and it looks nice so I'm just going to do my first single crochet on each. Oops, my yarn just fell. That's okay. So I will let you crochet, single crochets on that first row. You don't have to do this, but I found, you know, the more you crochet, the tricks, the more tricks you will find. I'm not saying that this pattern is mine. Like I did, I'm. I don't know if there is it out there. I didn't even Google search, <laughs> so I don't know. But uh, by seeing that rug at Walmart, it just gave me the uh, idea how to uh, crochet this. So I'm gonna let you crochet, and I will come back to show you the trick to how to make this lovely rug. Okay, so I have crocheted all the way, and I just want to show you how this looks like. It looks neat, both sides. Okay, so, like, there's no numbers that you need to chain to start this. It's just how long, how wide you want it. So, I'm doing my last single crochet, just like this, and I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. So, these three chains make that bump and then I'm going to turn my work okay now we're going to be working on this these V's so for the first I'm going to do is come to this not here but here so I'm going to do a slip stitch this is the trick so chain three, one, two, three, and then on the back, not the front, but on the back of that V, I'm going to do a slip stitch just like this. <clears throat> Again, one, two, three. It's easy to hold it this way. Because what we're doing is we're only working on these stitches. So make a slip stitch. So one, two, three. Just if you, if you have so much cotton yarn that you're not using, 
you can use this to make a rug. And it's super soft to your feet when you wake up in the morning <laughs> or from the shower. So this is how it looks like. If you want it longer, you can chain four or five, but uh, I think three is enough. I'm doing three chain. If you want to do longer, you can, you know, chain more as you want. So this row, this is all we're doing. Chain three, slip stitch to the next, chain three, slip stitch to the next. One, two, three, and slip stitch to the next. It's, it's a slip stitch. We don't want to do single crochet because it make it will make it bulky. So I'm going to let you crochet like this. This is how it looks like. All the way to the end. One, two, three. Slip stitch. One, two, three. Slip stitch. Two, three, slip stitch. So this, uh, to create this rug, you only do two rows and you repeat that two rows. Well, actually it's not even two rows. I will come back to show you how to do the second part of this pattern. Okay, so continue crocheting like this all the way to the end and I will meet you at the end and I will show you how to do the second part. Okay, so I have done three chains, uh, slip stitch, and I'm doing the last slip stitch on the last. So I'm going to chain one. Okay, from from now on, what we're going to do, we're going to do single crochet. I am holding it instead of holding it this way. I'm holding it this way because. You can hold it this way, that would be no problem, but I noticed that, I noticed when you when you do single crochets on each, this part gets loose. So I don't want it loose, so what I did is I've been holding it this way and it's tightening it. So this is how I do it. Just go like this on each it's it's up to you if you're a if you want to crochet like this you can try it if it gets loose you can you can do my technique just holding it this way and then crocheting it for some reason it makes it tighter or you can use a smaller crochet hook either way would help and that's all this is all to it so we do single crochets on the other side of the, remember we did the uh, three chain slip stitch, stitch, slip stitch on the back loop. Now we're doing it on this front, whatever is remain uh, the front, the front loops that we, we skipped. So, so we're creating this next row. We're doing single crochet. So when we're turning our work, we're going to do three chain, Three chain single uh, single uh, slip stitch on each on the back loop and when we're turning our back we're going to do single crochets so this is how it's done it's 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 a carpet <laughs> rug yeah it's a carpet rug it gives you that uh, layer on each and that's all to it so I'm gonna put this aside and show you how I uh, did on my item uh, my uh, work in process uh, working in process that I'm working on just grab that and I'll be back okay so uh, I'll show it again so I do this is how I hold it because it gets bigger right and this is the back of the work and then I just go between and I just make a single crochet just like this because I noticed while I was crocheting, this part got looser, 
and I tried to figure out how to make it tighter and I started as you can see this part is loose this part is tighter and this is all to it so you do one single crochet one row when you start and on the next row well not on the next row on that uh, on that single crochet that you did on the back loop you do three chain slip stitch three chain slip stitch and when you come back when you turn your work on that front row you do a single crochet on that front front uh, row like the front here and this is all to it so I hope you like this tutorial I just wanted to give you an idea how it looks like I love the 3d look and I just wanted something you know soft durable and then use up all my yarn that I have because it does uses up lots of yarn as you can see on one row we're creating this uh, this uh, rug carpet look again thank you very much for watching my tutorials happy crocheting and have a great day and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe share it with your family and friends happy crocheting